We are now going to do network quantity calculations where we total the number of manholes and depths of manholes and the length of pipes by size and by depth. To do this, we'll move to our reports menu one more time and we'll select network quantities. Now, the first thing we have to do, of course, is select the drainage model that we're planning on doing our quantities for. That's our drainage 12D. And then we have to select the tin that will be used for all of our calculations. So we're going to come down here and we're going to use our combined tin. Now, we have several different files down below here. We call these count files. And this defines how 12D will count these different components of a drainage or sewer network. Now, because we're doing our drainage, we're not going to be counting any house connections. So to make our report shorter, we're going to delete those count files from the list. So we're only going to be counting manhole depths and pipe depths. Now, if we already have these configured and ready to go, all we have to do is come down here and select our count. And it processes the two drainage strings. And let's go take a look at the results. We're going to click on the folder and down to open. The first thing it's done is counted all of the AL2Ds. And the depth ranges that we've specified are from 0 to 1.5, where it's found four manholes. Now, the total depth of these manholes is 4.9 meters. If we move down farther, we also have our manholes. We only have, we have one of those up here, two of them down below, and the totals for those. At the very bottom, we also get a summary telling us what type of structures were inside our project. And you can see that we have an AL2D there, and we've got manholes down here. And now that was what was counted. What this summary here is, is exactly what was used inside our project. Those were the diameters of the manholes used inside our projects. So what we can see here is that there's one set of manholes that we did not count, the head walls. And if you look up here for this asterisk, this is the wild card. This is also what has not been counted. So by looking at this, this notifies us that we have not counted all of the manholes or structures in our project. Now we're going to take a look at how to customize this to change this shortly. Let's look at the pipe quantities. First of all, the class 2 pipes. All of our class 2 pipes that we have counted are the 525 in size, and we have 35 meters in this depth range and 1.2 meters in this depth range from 2 to 3 meters. The count for this one isn't quite as useful. It's actually the number of small segments that get added up to make that 35. Now, if we move down to the end, once again, we also get a summary. The class 2s, the 375s, the 450s, the 525s. And more importantly, once again, at the end is always the asterisk. The asterisk tells us what has not been counted. And if we look at what was used in our project, well, we didn't count any RCP pipes, so we better update those. What we're going to do is return to our network quantities panel and customize our count files so that they'll include the head walls and the RCP pipes. So first of all, we're going to customize the manhole depths. We're going to select on the folder icon and come down and select open. Now, the way the count procedure works is it's made up of count lines. Let's take a look at the first count line. This says we're supposed to add up all of the manhole types, AL2D, that are in a depth range between 0 and 1.5. And once again, you can see that there's a 1.5 to 2. At the very last one, we have everything between 7 and 999. Now, that would be very, very deep manholes. And the last one we have is just by chance, if some of our manholes were above ground, this would count them there. Moving down here, there's the one that adds up the sags for us. Here's the one that includes the manholes. Now, you'll notice that this one has got quotes around it. It's not required in this case, but if your manhole type ever does have a space in its name, you are going to have to include quotes around its name. Finally, there's the little section that asks for the totaling for all the ones that were missed up above. Now, if we wanted to change this so that it added our head walls as well, we could come down here and add one more line. Now, let's say for this one that we're not interested in the depth at all, we can just type in HW for our head wall anything between 0 and 999. Now also, we'll do that same trap just in case there happens to be some above the ground, which of course there shouldn't be. So head walls between minus 999 and 0, 0.0.
Now there's a very important factor of both all of these count files. This system is designed never to count a pipe twice. So there will be no double counting anywhere inside the system. So if I was to add another count line after this saying head walls between minus 999 and 999, I would always expect that third line to be zero. Now it will not recount those because that range has already been counted. This one will definitely be zero. All right, then let's go save that. We'll write that out. And let's go change our pipe depths as well. Now inside the pipe depths, what we didn't count was the RCP type pipes. So if we want to include that, you'll notice that these count lines do not have three items in them, but they rather they have four. If you have four items, it's the flag to 12D that you're interested in summarizing by size as well as by depth. So here we're asking for the class twos, 375s, 450s, and 525s. And then if there was any other sizes that we missed, they'd get added up down below. Now if we wanted to change this so that it was going to add up our RCPs, what I would do is copy that entire section, paste it in down below, go back up to the top of it, and then we we'll just have to do a search and replace to replace the two spaces with an RCP space and go replace. And what it's going to do is move down through our system and replace all of our class twos with RCP. So as you can see, it's just a matter of going through. I'm going to go one by one just to make sure that I don't change anything that I wasn't planning on changing. Change them all. That's perfect. So let's close that. We can close this and yes, we definitely want to save it. And we can go do our recounting. Now you probably noticed that the last time we did our report, it was full of zero values. That was because of this tick box here. So I'm going to turn that off to make our report a little bit smaller. And then we're going to select count again. And no, I don't want to append. I'd like to replace this. So I'm going to go for the no button and go back and open that report again. When I go back and open this report, this time you're going to see that we've counted our AL2Ds as before, the manholes, but this time we've got the head walls included where we have one of them. Now we've got our totals down below. What's significant here is that we don't have the wild card. We haven't missed any. If we go down to our pipe sizes, we have our class twos and our RCPs. But if we come down here, it says that we've still missed. We still have some wild cards that we have not counted. So if I come down here and find out there's everything that was counted, the types were used were RCPs, class twos, and class threes. All right, so that was what the issue is that we haven't counted our class threes. So if I returned and customized our list one more time to include those class threes, then we would eliminate all the wild cards and we'd have the totals for our network.